that he is on it. You got questions, we got answers. Very nice stuff. Sure. Good stuff. We're hoping that when those who want to go in person and vote, right. that the weather cooperates, no snow, no rain, just easy, easy. Sometimes it doesn't. This year it does. And that's Very a good, good. Yeah. I mean, We look great tomorrow. It's going to be really quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, we're starting this week quiet, and you know something's got to give weather-wise. We can't have quiet weather for too many days around here. And we're not going to later on this week. That's when the louder weather moves on in. But let's start with tomorrow for your election day. Maybe you're getting to the polls early. It'll be a chilly start. We'll be in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees by evening. Just downright beautiful. We should top out in the mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. We'll slide back into the 40s as we get into the evening hours. But overall, no weather concerns a day much like today. Temperatures out there this evening, though, dipping down pretty quickly. We're in the low 40s. Ravenna checking in 41. Ditto that over towards Youngstown, Worcester, Millersburg, over towards Mansfield, sitting in the low 40s right now. A lot of those locations will get down to the 30s tonight, probably mid 30s for you. Upper 30s to near 40 degrees elsewhere. A little bit of breeze out towards the lakeshore. Uh, felt that I was out here this evening. Notice everyone else just a light breeze, but you notice it's out of the north. We have that strong southerly wind that brought that Texas air up over the course of the weekend. We've replaced that with the frontal boundary that's bringing the cooler air in here. And that's where we're going to settle tomorrow is with another pretty cool day, but seasonable for November. All the activity out towards the west, but in the near term, big old block and H. This continues to block all the systems out towards the west and bring in the net north breeze, which will be with us tomorrow. So let's take you through your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. There's your wind direction up in the corner, still out of the north tomorrow. Here's your chilly start. A couple high clouds around. We're seeing those float through tonight. Uh, if you are planning on watching the total lunar, total lunar eclipse, that's going to happen. Uh, if you want to see the actual eclipse part, 6 o'clock is the time you want to wake up. Just look outside, go back to bed. Otherwise, it will start between 2 and 3, start to darken up. We should have good sky Guys, for that we do have high streaming clouds. You can still see the moon. It's kind of a veiled moon here this evening. As we go throughout the daytime tomorrow, no problems whatsoever. Lots of sunshine up near 50 degrees or so. Very similar day on Wednesday. Exception being, see that wind direction changing out of the south. You know what that does this time of year. It's going to be warmer on Wednesday. We're talking mid 60s around here. Another above average fall day. But then we've got this weekend to talk about. So how does that come together? We've got something called a subtropical storm. This is Nicole right here. Doesn't look like much, but winds are measured at 45 miles per hour. What does subtropical mean? Well, tropical, first of all, hurricanes, tropical storms that feeds off a of warm ocean water. This is not feeding off a of warm ocean water. This has actually an attached cold front to it. This whole system is going to make its way into the Florida panhandle and eventually or actually Florida and then up towards the panhandle, then in the southeastern US. It's going to bring a lot of rain and wind, subtropical or not. It's going to be a doozy of a system for them down towards the southeast and up towards the northeast as well. Then we deal with the system out towards the west. This is how much snow's on the ground right now. There's very cold air where that snow is. In fact, frigid below zero for many in southern Canada. This system's going to come east later this week. See how these two kind of marry up. System with Nicole heads north. Cold front comes in and that unleashes some very cold air over the Great Lakes. So let's time it out in terms of rainfall. Here comes the moisture from Nicole. We're talking Thursday night into Friday. Likely some rain around here. That system heads by. We kick off lake effect snow. Yes, for the weekend. That should kick in Saturday night into Sunday and Monday. Your Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. Look at the temperature drop back into the 30s for highs with lake snows going through Monday. Same kind of wintry next week. So certainly going to be much different around here a week from now, Russ. Much different. All right, Matt, thanks a lot.